how would you describe the series? Is it really similar to Harry Potter or it's not? Uh, it's similar in some ways in that we have, it's about magic and we have people out of school learning magic, but I think uh, where, where it's different is that it, um, it takes a look at the, the real life consequences of magic. Um, and uh, it takes place today in New York, um, and it's more of like a grad school vibe. And uh, it, blends, it blends a lot of like the real world with magic. It's not just centered on just like a magical world. It's like both. So that's good. And it's darker. I mean, it, it, it's, it starts like slow, like step by step, but then gets crazier. Yeah, and crazy. and no. especially <laughs> for, for your character, Julia. Yeah, it gets really dark. It gets dark. It's, it's um, you know, the sexual content is more prevalent. It's it, a lot of curse words, uh, but it's, it's great. It's, um, yeah, Julia, it gets dark. <laughs> the toughest scene for you to shoot or to because you have pretty tough ones so i don't know if i'm allowed to spoil it for the ones who haven't seen but i would say the finale uh, that was that was really hard that was that was tough the show also like uh, mix up with uh, fun moments or uh, light moments like uh, the scene in your mind mm -hmm. with a taylor swift yeah. song uh, did you knew the song before or uh, you had to study like I know I had to study the lyrics I had to like watch the music video and uh, no but it's like you know, it's a great show in that way that we get to explore different genres kind of almost every episode yeah. and it, it feels to me like more honest in that way because like I'm never sometimes I'm a very serious person and sometimes I'm a funny person and sometimes I'm an intellectual and uh, and I think that's true for all people and so therefore should be true for characters on TV and the show gives us that ability to to play that entire spectrum and I think we're quite lucky in that and with the with the tricks how do you do it do you have a magician on set like uh, teaching you stuff or well in the beginning we actually did have magicians come and visit which was which was very cool and uh, we for the thing that we do with our hands, it's, um, it's called finger tutting. It's actually sort of like a break dance with, with your hands. And we have a choreographer that comes. His name's Kevin Lee. And he comes and sort of like shows, uh, shows us different techniques. And we kind of craft it to our particular characters uh, for their situations. Do you already know uh, how it's going to be the second season, or do you know nothing at all? They or? haven't told us anything. We start shooting in 10 days, and we don't know anything. Uh, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Have you read the books, like, before, or, or you're catching up? Um, um, yeah, I mean, before we shot the pilot, uh, I think we'd all read all the books. Yeah. Uh, and I think became very quick and very uh, rabid fans of, of, the, of the source material. And so it was very important for us to, to be guarding it and making sure that we were doing it as truthfully as possible. Um, and I, uh, I think to a large extent, we're successful in that, yeah. And I know you're a student in break bills and you love it, but if you had to choose uh, between uh, getting a letter from Hogwarts or going to break bills or being a student in uh, Charles Xavier uh, School for young, uh, for gifted youngsters, uh -huh. what would you choose? <laughs> Uh, I obviously choose. I want a, I want an owl to come into my house, and I want to drop me a Hogwarts letter. Um, you, uh, it's it, it's a simpler world, uh, I think. You know, there's good and there's evil, and it's very clear what those lines are. And um, uh, I, I don't know. I grew up with Harry Potter, so I'm a little bit romantic about it. <laughs> and for you, Stella? Oh boy. Sarah Lawrence? No, I just can't. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know between those two, or it could be anything. Be, I don't know. Being a character out of Lord of the Rings would be pretty cool, right? Live in that world. That world's pretty crazy. No at all. Yeah. Breaking the, breaking the boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you've told me that you don't know anything, but what would you like to do in the second season? What would you like to? Yeah, well, I mean, I hope we get to, uh, I will definitely get to explore further who these people are and watch them grow up and try to grow up and fail at doing so. Um, I hope we get to explore some of the internal struggles that come with your dreams coming true and how you come to terms with that and have to create sort of an internal drama in order to, like, move your life forwards. 
for Julia is going to get better? <laughs> well, I've heard not so much, but we don't know, but maybe, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it, it'll be interesting to, to kind of live inside her and see what she does after everything that's happened to her and how that affects her and how, how something like that, you know, um, how somebody has to live with that and, and see, see where it takes her. Do you think the show is going to continue with the faithful adaptation? Like, because it changes a bit, but not so much. So what do you think? It's going to continue that way or? I hope, I, I, yeah, I hope so. I like the path that it's taking. I think that it's, it's got the spirit of the books, as Jason always says. And uh, I stole that one. And uh, it's, um, it, it, it allows the writers and us to sort of like make room for other things and, and but it always brings it back to sort of the essential idea of what's been happening and so I hope we stick, stay true to that you know there's some exciting stuff in the books that I hope we get to explore further your character Jason makes uh, magic but with some psychological stuff and we're going to see more about that or he's going to like forget mm, those problems or no, I mean, I think those, uh, these kinds of problems follow people through their entire lives. And it's, uh, I think right now he's in a stage of trying to have quick fixes and band-aid those things about him and hide them from the world. But I think we're going to see those things get ripped off and uh, see him have to deal with some like real-world consequences and, uh, and struggle with those internal demons. It's easy to like focus on what's right in front of you, but like you know, as time progresses and as story permits, I think both of our characters will slowly start to like those the, those like momentary missions will like fall to the wayside, and yeah. we'll get to the real. If you could choose a power, uh, like I don't know, flying or what would you choose? Uh, telekinesis, probably, because telekinesis, you can, it essentially encompasses all of the superpowers, because if I wanted to fly, I could, like, make my shoes fly, and then I would, like, suddenly be flying, or if I wanted to move something, I move it, you know, like. That's a good one. It's a good one, right? <laughs> yeah. Good one. yeah, and you, Stella? Probably time travel. Get to go, like, anywhere, at any point. Do you think we're going to see more of that in the show, or? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Hopefully, that'll be cool. Your favorite moment so far of the first season? Um, favorite moment? I'm not sure, but it was amazing uh, getting the the last two episodes when we, we finally got to go to Fillory, and like that was like a really amazing moment for I think these two characters, and it was like when our characters finally came back together after like a very tumultuous season and and uh, a lot of hardships, um, and uh, I don't know that was like really exciting to get to do. That reunion was fantastic. I love the final episode. Jason narrates it as Quentin, and I love that because it's, it's su such an homage to the books, and it's, it was really fun. So the finale, it's really crazy. Do you think the show is going to continue that way or is going to get uh, to start again to be like more calm and like at the beginning? You know, I hope it continues that way because the finale was my favorite episode of the whole season. So I hope we get to like go further into all of that. I think we finally know who these people are, and so we get to throw them into uh, these sort of crazy situations and see how, how they deal with them. Uh, and I don't think that's going to stop. I mean, I... I uh, keep throwing, throwing us curveballs. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah's going to be... Yeah. She'll, she's going to throw them at us, and we're going to be like, yeah! So. La magia no es un juego de niños.